Hello, this is Professor Gruen, and um, welcome to the last day of, or the last module of ICM 590 Project plan Planning at Quinnipiac University, spring, or fall 2013. Um, first of all, I just want to say to everybody, um, it's been a fun semester. I have learned a lot. And thank you for allowing me to be a part of your journey as you uh, work on your master's uh, program in the ICM program. Most everybody in class this semester has been planning and game planning their capstone project. And you're all looking forward to very much uh, working on that next semester and having that as um, graduating for um, for this program. I've had you, many of you, in two or three classes now and it's um, just been super and my life has definitely been touched and is better because of, of each of you and the relationships that we've built as a um, professor and student and in many cases as, as friend, um, I've definitely really appreciated. Uh, let's take a look at module 14, the, uh, the final chapter, so to speak. So if we go and take a look at that. Um, I was thinking internet's a little slow. So the first part of the um, chapter is listed. You'll see that there's a mod the module at a glance. The there's an overview video which uh, Professor Simon has done. There's actually two. By now you've probably watched Professor Simon video, I hope. And I think it's important that if you haven't watched his video that you also watch his video as well as mine because the balance of the, the sum of the two will let you know what's required for your final project. He points out some really good things that probably need to be done, but I'll refine what my expectations are in that. Ultimately, you are to take your work breakdown wiki, all the stuff that we've done and the things that we have worked on together and create a final and create a, a final presentation in that. And what I'd like you to do is use a PDF form for that work. And it figures while I am doing a video, the doggy has to go out. So take all the work that you've done on the work breakdown structure and convert that, cut and paste it, and make it a a final make it make it a, a, a final document and save it as PDF. Project definition, project requirements, milestones work breakdown. Don't duplicate the work breakdown and the time estimates because those are kind of redundant. So just give me the time estimates with your work breakdown structure, the risk, and then come up with a way, maybe a screenshot, or maybe, I don't know if you can import in the Project Libre, but take everything from the workspace and combine it into one single PDF file. Make sure your name is in the file name, first and last name, and it says ICM 590, your name, and um, final project. And that's worth uh, 20 points, and that will, along with the action, I think there's a place where I actually give you scores for your updated and final version of your work breakdown structure as well. So I'm going to be scoring both that which you've put as your final working document in your workspace. So please make sure you update that first. Get everything looking the way you want. If you want me to work with you one more time to review it, uh, more than happy to give you that, um, that time. Just let me know or feel free to comment or work with um, any of your classmates on that. The other thing, if you want to um, if you want to earn an extra 10 points, 
Um, what I'd like you to do is uh, to create a five-minute video presentation for your project and um, think about it maybe in terms of some sort of PowerPoint presentation. Uh, be creative. Think about presenting your project to stakeholders that you would take. You've got your PDF file. Don't show me your PDF file in the project, but say, now here I am in the, pre in the um, boardroom showing this project to the people that concer are concerned about it. So that's point number three there. Discussion. I've sent out an email already on the reflections, and you need to do that in two places for me, please. One is the ICM program is asking us to start using the ePortfolio section and to do a personal reflection there. And then also I'd like you to do it on discussion board D14. That way everybody can see that reflection and provide the link to your ePortfolio for me in there. And also on this document, on this module, there's some good information on visual hierarchy and type by typography. Um, Professor Simon actually found a couple of really good links on how to um, lay out and understand kind of this is one way, this is a better way, this is a better way. He lays out how to um, um, where he expects the type of style to use on this final presentation. Your final um, submission project plan deliverable, use this link here and that link there will um, allow you to actually do your submission. And basically, on that submission, give me the PDF file. That's all I want is a PDF file with everything put into it. And then um, it should have a cover page, a project definition, requirements, work breakdown structure, risk management, and um, schedule. And the work breakdown structure, point number four, Let's have that, have the work breakdown structure and the time estimates in one place. In our, w, in our workspace, it was actually in two. And then you can, um, I would like a final presentation um, created, uh, prepare a five minute video uh, presentation on your project and how you plan to do it. One of the things that I don't think was discussed as we talked about the, um, the Project Libre. Project Libre isn't done at the point of this class. You can really take advantage of the fact that you have your Project Libre created and then use it throughout your capstone project to, um, to track where you're at. There's a lot of different tools and techniques and what's really nice is with Project Libre is you have a say an estimated date that you're going to have something done by February 15th, but maybe the reality is that task got done on February 5th. So that just bought you 10 days and your schedule will adjust accordingly. Or maybe something got late two or three days and that's going to push back some other things. So please um, take advantage of please take advantage of using your Project Libre document throughout your capstone project. Um, right here is the D14 link to the ePortfolio Reflections and Self-Assessment Assignment. And if you scroll down towards the bottom, this is all the information that I sent out in an announcement um, on Sunday, November 24th. And with the hesitancy, but by special request uh, from several of you, I was able to get a final report from the CEO on the kitchen project. It's only eight minutes long and um, you, I think you'll get a chuckle out of that and kind of how some of the actual factors that we've talked about, mainly scope creep, um, have impacted um, our project. And then also project definitions. So it's always interesting to see um, a husband and a wife's view on the um, the same project. So uh, those of you who have been following along with the kitchen project, a couple of you had asked, hey, how about we want to hear from the CEO. So um, not only have you had to put up with me and um, my kitchen project videos, my wife has actually had, Donna has actually had to put up with the kitchen project overall and 
you can sense her joy at some points and her uh, frustrations at others, which um, quite honestly becomes a really good uh, truth about um, any project. Once again, um, I can't thank you, um, you folks enough. Um, I, I'm, I really love uh, teaching and being a part of the Quinnipiac ICM program. Um, it's it's definitely a uh, cooperative effort in the learning process. You guys have taught me more, and I grow by my teaching. And um, it's been it's been definitely a, a lot of fun. I look forward uh, next semester to seeing your capstone projects and uh, some of your, your capstone projects. If I have the opportunity, send me a link. It would be great to see it. And I know a couple of you are um, planning on actually coming to Hamden to Quinnipiac uh, for your graduation. And I'm also hoping to uh, attend the graduation ceremony. I think they, they like the professors if they can to help out as ushers and stuff. So I've become good friends with some of you and I want to be a part of that experience. So I hope that that all works out. But let me know that if you're traveling and coming in town, definitely shoot me a email and I'd, I'd love to, uh, to meet up with you. You've got three weeks left. The Everything is actually due by December 7th, Saturday. That's when class ends. However, we have finals week, which then ends December 13th, I think, is Friday. So say the uh, Saturday the 14th at 6 a.m. Worst case scenario, get it all done by December 14th, and that gives me the weekend to um, grade it and get, get the grades in um, and post it before the due date uh, for me of Tuesday, December 17th. But um, you guys can help me out. The sooner you get everything done, the better. And I'll be able to grade everything, comment on stuff as it all comes in, and uh, we can call it done. And uh, I'm sure you'll, you'll all, as we come into the Thanksgiving holiday, you're all thankful that you're on the home stretch. So, um, I am available for any one-on-one -on -one Skype sessions that you need if you have any questions about your final project. If, if things aren't working, if links don't work or anything, please email me, let me know, and I'll try to get to it as, as quickly as I can. And uh, please, some of you, most of you, I'd say 80%, you've got all your assignments done and you're in great shape. But there's that 20% you're falling behind on, on some of the assignments. Please check your gr personal grade book and take a look at what's not done. If I missed something in your grading, email me and let me know and just prove to me that you've done the work and I'll adjust it. If not, uh, please get the work completed so I can uh, give you a grade and, um, and we can call it done. So... Um, Again, thank you very much, and have a, uh, have a great holiday. Good night.